So guys, as sharing formula continues among Nigeria senators, Nigeria have gone into 2024 budget to thoroughly examine like what is going on in there. Guess what they find out? They find out that Nigeria government approved 2.5 billion for Senate President Ababio to buy refrigerators, generators for his constituency. Hey, my people, and right now, <laughs> People from a Pabio constituency, they are coming out to say that, hey, hey, they are the ones that have the baddest road in their area. Like they didn't see any generator, let the low of the refrigerators, my people, like what is happening. Sometimes if you think about Nigeria, it makes you to even go mad, honestly, because you don't even see any future. Because the way things are going right now, just as uh, Rufai said here, he said that he weep for Nigeria. Even the money they are sharing, my people, hey, this one I borrowed money on our loans they collected. They are not even using it to do anything. Rather, they are sharing it among themselves. This is heartbreaking. This is heartbreaking, my people. Where do we go from here right now? Where do we go from here? Because since they have suspended Senator Ninge, is to put fear in other senators. So there will be no one to have courage to stand up and speak up again, my people. We will not even hear anything that happened in there anymore because no one would like to be suspended. And this is what they try to do just to make all of them to be mute so that they will continue the criminality that is going on in there. My people, this is what Peter B have been saying, you know, this sharing formula has to stop in Nigeria if truly Nigeria want to have a new Nigeria. And this is also the reason why they refuse Peter B to become Nigeria president because they know very well that Peter B will never allow all this nonsense to continue happening in Nigeria. Now they are doing damage control, saying that there is a coup against uh, Akbabio, the Senate president. That's why they are doing all these things. My people, just take a look and hear what Arise team said, especially what Rufai said here, and I will be right back. Senator representing Bauchi Central, after he alleged that the 2024 budget was padded by 3 trillion naira. The upper legislative chamber during the debate leading up to Ningi's suspension descended into chaos when Senator representing Cross River North, Jaribe Jaribe, claimed that some senior senators received 500 million naira in the budget for constituency projects. We are going forth and back on these issues and coming up with issues of the budget and individual uh, issues concerning what came to our various constituencies. If we want to go into those issues, all of us are culpable. Sure. Some senators here, so-called senior senators, got 500 million each. I am a ranking senator, I didn't get. Did I go to the press? I didn't get. Most of you got. And yes, if we want to go into those issues, excuse me, if we want to go into those issues, Yes. So I think that I think that I think that Senator Ningi Senator Ningi That's the famous moment, the off your mic moment yeah. that has been trending on social media, Dr. Abati. Well, let me take this WhatsApp comment. This person wrote definition of irony. The patriotic politician who was infamously told off your mic for being willing to divulge information exposing corruption in government is now the Senate president under whose hammer the Senate approved a current minister who was the chair of the committee he was indicted. I mean, I know we all know who that minister yeah. is, uh, Rufai yeah. Abitoy. I mean, that yeah. really is the comment. Now he's now the one chairing the off your mic segment in the Senate. Well, in the meantime, the majority leader of the Senate, Okwayemi Bami Dele, during Tuesday's plenary, claimed that some senators are planning to impeach Senate President Godswill Akbabio before the 13th of June 2024, and that the allegation made by Ningi was tantamount to a civilian coup against Akbabio. Bami Dele also admitted that 500 million naira was given to certain senators and urged Nigerians to be patient with the senators to see if they don't use the money for their constituency projects. I stand with due respect to say that what my big brother, distinguished Senator Abdul Nungi, who I respect so well, planned to do or set out to do was tantamount to a civilian coup, which has failed. 
And in doing this, he wanted to use the platform of Northern Senators Forum. Mr. President, sitting as chair, make no mistake about it. A few people who feel they will not give you more than one year to spend in this chair want to do everything possible before the 13th of June to remove you. It is about Pabio. It is about the South. You cannot understand why Senator Ningi we want to use the name of Northern Senators Forum, even when most of them did not agree to this. We must do the right thing today. We did not start this fight. Senator Ningi took this to the public domain, standing up to apologize here, even after he repeated that some people got 100 billion from this, this, this budget, some people got 60 billion. How about, what, what apology are you expecting? Let us do the right thing, and I am saying it as part of the leadership of this Senate. I am not bothered. I, I was going through online, uh, just as this is going on, it's trending now, that every senator got 500 million. My appeal to Nigerians is not about what was said there today, because I'm not going to deny that. But we have 12 months to implement 2024 budget. Let every Nigerian wait to see whether there's any of these senators who will not bring enough boreholes, enough solar street light, enough road construction, and other projects, training and empowerment that will be up to 500 million uh, naira. That is it. Well, all right. Those constituency projects, uh, Dr. Abati Rufai, Ayo, let, well, let me take some tweets. This is from Madi Shehu, who wrote, 18 billion naira for Akpabio's constituency for Agriculture. This amount is more than the amount allocated for 11 states. Where were the senators when the budget was being deliberated or approved? In hotel rooms? At guest houses? Abroad? Attending birthday parties? Another tweet he pulled. Uh, 2.5 billion naira approved for Akbabio to buy deep freezers for his constituency. Wonders shall never end. Anyway, with Akbabu, anything and everything is possible, considering his past records, how he emerged as Senate president without being a candidate in an election. I mean, we have seen that appropriation bill circulating. And also, if you go on the budget website, you would see that Akbabu's, uh, you know, constituency project amount to, I mean, what, what did I just call it? 18, 18 billion, billion and another two point, what's that? 20 something billion, billion naira. So what are we talking about here at this point, uh, Dr. Abati? The point that Senator Payami Bamidele was making is coming up with a conspiracy theory, mm -hmm. which we really cannot prove. He's the one who is on the floor of that Senate, and he says that, look, what Senator Ningi did, using the name of the Northern Senators Forum, is to give a dog a bad name in order to hang him. And so it's about conspiracy. Yeah. But time will tell. And I quote uh, Senator Adam Soshomole. Senator Adam Soshomole said, Senator Ningi has us, stripped us naked <laughs> in the marketplace. <laughs> and we cannot, you know, just cover it up as if it is nothing. And that was why I said earlier on, on this same program, that, look, we have not had the last mm -hmm. of this matter, particularly with the integrity of the budget. Yes. And uh, it's part of the responsibility of citizens in a democracy to raise questions about how budget is implemented. And I think that with regard to the integrity part of it, President Tinubu, who met yesterday mm -hmm. with the uh, you know, leadership of the Senate, should also take an interest in it. Because by extension, it will be the integrity of the federal government that will be at stake. That's one. Number two. You mentioned constituency projects. Mm. We've been on this constituency project matter since 1999. And that was why it was uh, instructive what Senator Abaribe, who was our guest earlier on, was, was able to say. He said, cash is not given to any senator. That when these constituency projects are allocated, they are executed by the ministries, departments, and agencies. Mm -hmm. The question now is, in terms of transparency and accountability, to what extent are the lawmakers at the federal level involved in the execution of those projects? Mm -hmm. Because their responsibility is to make laws for good governance, peace, and order in Nigeria, not to go about executing projects. So the Nigerian citizens should be interested in that. To return to the case of uh, Senator Ningi, 
Yes, his colleagues did a good job of, uh, you know, putting a lie to all that he said, and they ended up suspending him for three months. As I said earlier on, that there are options. This is really not the end of the story. Mm -hmm. There are options available to Senator Ningi. He refused to apologize. He said he stands by his story, but he can go to court. Yeah. Order 67 sub 4 of the rules of the Senate, Order 67 sub 4 of the rules of the Senate says that you can only suspend a member for 14 days. Mm -hmm. Now he has been suspended for 14 days. So he can go, he can approach the high court yeah. and test that order 67 sub 4. He may win as uh, uh, Senator Ovier Omo Agege uh, did when he was suspended in 2018 and he returned to the, uh, to the uh, Senate when Justice, uh, Honorable Justice Dingba ruled that his suspension was constitutionally defective. Mm. He may also succeed uh, like uh, Honorable Akini Bido in uh, the case of Akini Bido versus uh, Udo State House of Assembly, where the court ruled that you cannot suspend a member of the House indefinitely. Mm -hmm. a, a member of the House of Assembly, you can only suspend him for you know, a legislative uh, a sitting, maybe for a day, not to say you have suspended indefinitely. So these are the options that are available there. Okay. But the Nigerian people will continue to watch this Senate Absolutely. closely. Because as Oshomale said, they have streamed themselves <laughs> in the marketplace. They have streamed themselves in the and marketplace. And we are seeing the nakedness. Yeah. And more questions will be raised. Right. Not about what I th you think. <laughs> Not about but, what I I'm think. Using the word nakedness in a general no, sense. Uh, of course, we all, we all understand that. But the issue of sus suspension, you have heard from um, a current senator. Let's hear from a past senator, you know, reactions. Uh, this is from Senator Chehu Sani, who wrote, uh, suspension in the Senate means a senator will not be allowed to attend the plenary and will be prohibited from attending committee meetings and participating in oversight functions. His salary, allowances, and all entitlements will be blocked. He will not have access to his office. And he is expected not to be seen within the premises of the National Assembly until the suspension is lifted. When I publicly disclosed the salaries and running costs of lawmakers, it was the then Senate president who saved me from suspension. If you talk too much, your body go tell you. That is why <laughs> even opposition, no feet oppose too, too much. much. You know, feet oppose too much. Read I mean, this, this, I mean, you have to read between the lines. I mean, the issue also, I know that you, you raised the point. You don't know why we are talking about uh, mm. Akbabu's um, constituency project. But it is a big topic oh, right yeah. now. It's it is big. a lot of money because... Of that particular tweet from Shea Usani, who says, if you talk too much, you'll be in trouble. What's your thought on that? And speaking about even Stevens, yeah. as it were, Ayo sent me, showed me a message. I'm like, yeah. I, I think that's the greatest even Stevens. If they suspended Ningi for this, so yes. who has been able to suspend Akbabio too for saying that they gave the governor 30 billion and he retracted on those words? Even Stevens. Anyway, mm -hmm. just play. Moving on. So... As regards that, I think we should also drill down into Akbabio's 18 billion. Is it because of the privilege of being a Senate president that's why he got 18 billion for his own constituency project? More than others. Please. More than others. Where's the fairness in this? And we all know the corruption and the scam called consistency projects in this country. The same one, Human Me Oji, that mm -hmm. somebody built recently and they put his name on all of them. Sella. <laughs> Huh? We saw that. The same one. The schools and that, that they build nice. and they put their I name mean, on really. it. And it's supposed to be a constituency project. So humor me very well. Mm -hmm. The same constituency project that ICPC did in a very investigative report that revealed that most of them were reading with corruption. Till today, they dead in that ICPC uh, what's it called? investigation. Mm -hmm. So, and that's why I didn't really ask the question, do the, do the senators oversee the contractors because that's the question yeah you will not give the senators money in the account to do it but they will have influence and i repeat quote me anywhere there's no how they don't have influence over the contractors that finally execute those projects because that there's no how there's no how they don't have influence over it and that's why senator Barry would not openly come out to say it but he said you know the way things are done in nigeria corruption has been because when those lootings happened during mm -hmm. COVID, some senators, when they went to their homes, they, they saw motorcycles and they mm -hmm. said they were going to share in empowerment projects. 
Those those are part of the conspiracy project because some get there. I mean, Ochi, you showed the other one on TV the other day about a senator that bought XYZ somewhere in Yewa, I'm low the P drugs and yeah, everything and all of that yeah. to share. That's Three conspiracy billion. project. Some of yeah, them say they, billion, yeah. yeah, they want to give empowerment. Mm -hmm. So that's where it goes for. And guess what? They give it and the people think it's from their own pocket. It's not from their own pocket. It is your right as the people of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So we need to scrutinize the construction of the road. I hear they are doing street light to farm. Markets as well. We must be able to look many months down the line where those projects are executed. Yes. Because we all know that this construction thing, projecting, is one of the biggest scams. Yeah. And I think, and every part of government is corporate. If a government wants to party party the National Assembly, mm. they say, you two, you take part of the National Party. I weep for yeah. Nigeria. We shall hold Senator for Nigeria. Bami Dele to account because and, he did admit and, and, that and in know, reaction to what he said. 500 million. And, 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 yes. and, and, and what he said, right. MOB should never say it's about, it's not about Pabio. Mm. It's about the integrity of project being done. This is the same way they are saying they are cutting costs of governance. So it has shown with most of the frivolities in those projects yeah. that they can actually cut the budget less than. And Oji, I weep for Nigeria again. You know, because what hurts me the most, most of this money is a borrowed money, Oji. They're not even money we've earned. Yeah. All right. That's yeah. a painful and that, part. And that's why we must scrutinize. Because yes. already we are talking about the fact that we there's a budget deficit. Mm -hmm. We're trying to fund infrastructural projects, capital projects, and we are having to borrow you know, in order to fund it. So it would be very sad if the monies borrowed are being used for spurious projects or are being pocketed by, you know, by people. But I think it's important to, um, to talk about the fact that when we talk about the 500 million naira, the importance of that is... Yes, it was clear and was clarified earlier by Senator Abaribi, and just for, uh, for avoidance of doubt, the senators themselves do not execute the project. However, the 500 million naira is allocated, given to their constituents, and then MDAs have to execute, yeah. but they have oversight of it. Now, what happens is that we cheat the people. Mm. Constituency projects are meant to be because these are the people who are meant to be, you know, closest to the people. Right. So when you have people crying out, you have a lot of money like this allocated to build, you know, things and nothing happens. It's stealing from the people. It's yeah. cheating the people. So my final question is this. If this, um, if Senator, um, if the Senator didn't come out with his, with his allegations, would we not have heard mm -hmm. about the 500 million Naira Good allocated point. to this constituency? Yes. Good question, Ayo. We need more answers. Exactly, my people. If that senator did not make mention of the 500 million they gave to the senior senators, hey, hey, we would have not even known anything that is going on there. My people, now so breeze go to blow and we go to see fire on your ash. Yes, my people. Right now, they are doing damage control, just as I said before, that they are just a good deter that they are against uh, the Akbabio, that, uh, that people that want to remove Akbabio from Senate president, like how I wish is going to be possible because Akbabio, the Senate president, he is doing too much. Yes, my people. Look at Nigerians are hungry. Like there is hunger everywhere. And this set of people are there sharing Nigerian money. Not that it's not even Nigeria money. This is the borrowed money. Hey, we are really in a long term in this country, honestly. So, my people, I say, make I bring this update to you guys. Please, if today is your first time, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you'll be the first person to be notified. And thank everyone that be sharing my video. I truly appreciate you all. Yeah, I will leave you guys here till my next one. Bye bye for now.